I don't, I don't know if you actually saw this this morning because you were hustling to get here, <laughs> but on. it's not Downton Abbey that caught my eye. It was something way fucking weirder, guys. Yeah. Mm. This was the weirdest bit of uh, news to wake up to. I get THR reports on my phone. Yep. I don't know if any of you guys do that, <clears throat> no, uh, which clearly makes put, me so pro. No, there's something about it what that makes jer- me feel like listener. I'm in the know. Yeah. Like anybody could do this. Yeah. Anybody, anywhere. I get right. 400 emails a day from the Hollywood Reporter and it makes me feel somehow like I'm doing my job which is like literally anybody could do it I have eliminated all push notifications on my phone the only thing that I want is text same no it comes through email Oh, it's an e. I get mm. emails of their articles every time they publish. It's one. a lot of emails. So silly. Yeah. But anyway, it's great in situations like this because I wake up to James Dean is starring in a new movie. And yeah. I was, I was and like, I was like holy now. crap! He came back no. from the dead. No. No. The James, James Dean. Dean. So yeah. I was like obviously and not, and not zombie James Dean. Like we're not getting like a cool horror movie or anything yeah. like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not zombie James Dean. So I was like I'm obviously clicking on this article yeah. because what the actual fuck? Like what is this? So uh Riley, our amazing newsman, what is this? What is happening with James Dean? <sighs> well, <laughs> the uh Skynet is getting closer and closer to being reality. They're going to CGI James Dean, and put him in a movie as a secondary lead. Not the lead, but a secondary lead. Support so team. now not only are robots taking our jobs in manufacturing and all over the world, and yeah. but uh, robots are now taking acting jobs from people. And I, disrespecting the kind of kind of the legacy. the legacy of these actors. Yeah. Like, what is that? Why and, is it? Are we? Am I? Are we all old now? Like, are we just? Are, are we not with the times? Because I, I'm just. I can't get over this. I can't. I haven't been out there, be, like clamoring for a new James Dean movie. Okay, well that's where you and I differ, sir. <laughs> Yeah, because like, that's that where we differ. The, the only Wars, way I would Dean. no, right, right. The only way I would be happy with this is if they put James Dean and Paul Newman in a movie together, and they made like a sequel to Call Me by Your Name. Other than that, I'm not interested in well, CG. Can I say that I actually so think you want I them banging each other? Yes. Yeah, they used that to flirt with each other. They, they, there's actually a rumor no, that yeah. they used that they used to uh, do stuff. I'm sure they did. Well, there, they, there's a rumor that they had a threesome with Eartha Kitt. So there you did know. you make the rumor up? No, I read about it. Look it up. I <laughs> swear the Hollywood Reporter's written Dorina's something dreams? about it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, it I is bookmarked. I think actually. I feel differently about this than you guys actually do. I'm not mad about this news. I'm... I'm oh. trying to deal with it. Like, I will give credit where credit is due. Mm-hmm. Christian Harloff sat in the seat not very long ago mm-hmm. and said yeah. they are going to start putting people in movies yeah, that are not so. appearing on set. Yep. But he didn't necessarily say dead people. He was just <laughs> saying, like, yo, if you want to sit at home on your couch, we'll pay you to use your name and likeness anyway. Right. Or afterwards, um, the, uh, talking to the estate. He did talk about this. Or de-aging and, people like we've seen in The Irishman. And that, yeah, but I don't sure. think any of us thought when he he said this will happen in the future. The future was now. This is 2019, and I was expecting this to be at least 2030. Like, I was w- waiting at least <laughs> another decade. Like... I, I mean, don't... did I'm you guys— I'm not going to go see it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you will. No, I won't. What if it's good? Can I— can... Because I don't want to watch a funking hologram. I no. watch. I have trouble with animation. That's you tell me I'm getting I, a James I Dean hologram. It's like, I drive past James Dean every time I drive up to uh, Amanda's mom and dad's place on on the 46, right, or whatever freeway that is between the five and the 101. And you drive right past where he died, and they have like a restaurant. And there's like a whole James Dean museum. You see him out there. He's got his cigarette. It's a it's an homage to the past. You can go back and watch James Dean movies. You can Correct. watch Paul there's Newman only like movies. Six of them. Big Josh energy. Yeah. Yes. 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 But, so but I am stupid. I am actually in agreement with you this time. Yes. Because no, I just I, I I see what you're saying, Roxy, because we have to as humans evolve and change with the times. I understand that. But this is just bizarre to me because it's the same thing as when we saw um, you know, Carrie Fisher. And, is it the same thing? Um, because they they were in the middle of a, of a trilogy. Same right, thing right. As, as as Lydia Soprano in season three of The Sopranos because she died in between seasons two and right. three. And so that or or Tarkin. It's not the same as any of those though, guys. This is a yeah. new movie. Can, can I read decades a quote? later? No. Can I read a quote that okay. might help with this? Sure. Because it's ridiculous in my opinion. We searched high and low for the perfect character to portray the role of Rogan, which has some extreme complex character arcs. And after months of research, we decided on James Dean. You mean you you searched high and low and decided on a dead guy? 
I this don't is ridiculous. That, that you, there are actors no, out there. I think what that can do this. And like I understand, is there be a guy they're, impersonating they're James Dean in a VO. They are going to use actual footage, CGI, full body CGI, using actual footage and photos of the actor. But another actor will voice him. And another, maybe another actor will be the body stand-in. So they are literally recreating James Dean Some because he capture. was the best choice for this role. I, I guess it's it's look as an actor, deep fake technology. Feel like a piece of shit, look. you can't compete. <laughs> right. with a fucking dead hologram. But that's my point. Nobody's going to be able to. You know what? We searched Excuse high and low, and we decided on Cary Grant. For the role of so and so. Go ahead. What were you saying? With deep fake technology, things are changing. It's crazy what's being done. I mean, uh, Collider's been doing some great deep fake stuff with the George Lucas thing. Um, You know, uh, now you're just getting trigger happy. What is it even for anymore, Cody? (laughs) It's it's, it's, it's it's Well, I'm also plugging. (laughs) I'm I'm plugging. I'm I'm helping our channel. Uh, But. The the issue with me there is that that's that's being used for like comedy sketches, right? Like that's different for me. I feel like if you're making a whole new movie, I don't understand the need to to do this unless the movie revolves around the technology, right? Like if you're if you're going to do like a, a ready or not type uh, a franchise where you're bringing back all these dead celebrities, then yeah, sure, do that. But but for this, what's why don't you just get another actor that's alive? That's so, what I don't get it. Am I, I, don't... I the only person? Who would like to see James Dean on screen in a new movie? Yes, and uh, like, D- for me, yes. It just depends on the pitch, and I'm this go doesn't interest Martin me. Scorsese Riley, on this. you yeah, have sorry. no interest in seeing James Dean in a movie, a uh, new movie. Uh, I have pretty much zero interest in it because I don't, I don't like that we are doing this. That it's like we searched high and low for the perfect actor, and we decided on a dead guy. Cody, yeah. I can't do that. Cody. Am I the only one still? I think so. Alex, yeah. Yeah, All right, so Roxy stands alone. It's the first time ever, guys, that I have a different like, opinion. I, uh, here's here's what I'm thinking, though. I do want to bring opportunities to all different kinds of people, including myself. As an actress, if I went in for an audition and I didn't book the role and Marilyn Monroe booked it over me and yeah. she's been dead for decades, yeah. I'd be like, well, I'm not great. <laughs> you know, yeah. I really didn't. But I think you, that... Can you imagine the, uh, uh, the actors that audition for this role and they read this article and it's like... Fucking yeah. Daniel Day Lewis. I don't know. I'm just saying. That... And I get that. And what they should have said was, we didn't audition or look anywhere because we knew from writing the script we were writing it for James Dean. Right. That would have made me feel a little better about it because otherwise, poor actors out there. But at the same time, anybody who's part of this 27 Club, and there's so many people, mm-hmm. um, and, and it. And it just it keeps coming up. The people that are people who are dying before they're thirty, yeah, and Jim they're Morrison so talented. And Janice Joplin, yeah. it, uh, Amy, Winehouse Amy Winehouse and um, Jimmy right. Hendrix. J- Jimmy Hendrix. Everybody, but even anybody who's just under thirty, even uh, under at this point sixty, but right. like anybody who's dying that young. Who is that talented? I want to see more of. And the fact that we finally have technology today that can make us see more of them. No, it's not actually them, but maybe it's similar to what they could have done or how they could have portrayed. And if his estate is okay with it, which which clearly they are, because otherwise it wouldn't be happening. Right. Then so that's I'm kind of I'm kind of interested. This I'm not is, saying but, I'm obsessed with it, but I'm kind of interested. But they're using their I I I see what you're saying, and and I hear, and I think that also depends on like if you guys think about it, like whoever is actually like an actor in this room, I'm not right, but you guys are. So how would you feel? If you if you came back from the dead, if you were if you were your own ghost yes. and they use your likeness because they're not you like they're not coming back here and saying, oh, yes, we're going to get the James Dean that we all know. They're using his likeness. Right. So they're going to get an actor. It's not going to be James Dean in the actual movie. I'm, it's not going to be the, the James Dean we all knew. That's that's that. We, they can't do that no matter what technology they get. Right. But to answer your question, how would I feel? Yeah. Right. I'm 28. So similar. But if I died, like I walked out of here, I got yeah. hit by a car. It or could whatever. You, yeah, you anybody can die in any way. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. True. I, I mean, think about I was it a making lot. a joke yeah. about okay. it. Okay. You're so goth today, point. Josh. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Totally. <laughs> Except yeah. the pink. Yeah. The pink is <laughs> screaming goth. Yeah, no. I would hope that you guys would CGI me into everything for the rest of time. <laughs> like, huh. I would like to be in everything. <laughs> if I die today and there's not a movie with me starring in it, I'm pissed at you guys because you did not fucking do your jobs. Listen, well, I'm not a great actor. Okay, that's clear and present danger. You guys have seen Pl- Plasterhead. Okay, <laughs> clear and present danger. It's a great movie. I love that. I'm, a little, a, I'm movie. a little Jack Ryan. Really guy. hot Jack Ryan okay. in that movie. So, 
what I, what I'm saying is like when I hear stories of like, oh, uh, Amelia Clark had to act at, at a tennis ball because that's what the dragon was. I was like, yeah, that sounds terrible. Okay. Yeah. Second of all, I'm I'm in a scene with a guy in a black onesie covered in white balls, and I'm like, hey, so this is supposed to be James Dean. Go fuck yourself. I'd rather have like Donnie McBride, whatever. I'm not Danny. Danny. McBride. No, no. I'd rather have like You're old, trying to make up a old, name. old Eddie Curtin's over here. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, coming around being like, hey, hey so, Curtin's. so uh, this is my first yeah. movie. I like. I'd rather get that than like, hey, so we're gonna hologram fucking James Dean in here because I'm not like out there. Because here's the thing: you go into pitch rooms, and we've all been in pitch rooms before where you yeah, have oh, scripts, yeah. and they're like, so who do you think we could get for the role of this? And I'm like, you know, who'd be great in this role? Elizabeth Banks. And then somebody's like, what if we fucking hologram James? Dean in there. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hologram okay. James Dean in my movie. But on the other side of that, I get as an actor, it would be more difficult to act against a uh, tennis ball uh, curtain. Thank you, by the way, for the Eddie Curtain uh, Google search. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe if I had the opportunity to be in a movie with James Dean, I don't give a fuck what I'm acting up against. I'm in a movie with goddamn James Dean. You're not Dean. in a movie <laughs> but with you're James not, Dean. Yes, I am. No, you're, you're not. Gonna, no, you're going to be no, acting. you're not. You're going to be I acting. Am. Roxy, guess what? Roxy. <laughs> the way it would actually happen, it'd be like Andy Serkis. You'd be acting with a person. It'd be like that Beauty and the Beast amazing photo that we get of Dan Stevens in that ridiculous giant suit. Yeah. Where he's walking down the stairs with Emma Watson, and it's the most hilarious picture but ever. When it'd you're, be like that. When you're watching it at home, Roxy Stryer starring alongside James Dean. Do you no. think they're going to be looking it's at not. you. They're going to be looking They're going to go like, who is that dark idiot? And, there it is. I love that. And, and guess so what? <laughs> <laughs> this thing, this this move is going to eclipse everything. Eclipse the story, eclipse the other actors in this movie. It's all going to be about James Dean being a CGI ghost <laughs> acting in front of everybody. And for the first of its kind, I'm okay with that. All right. I, I know that I'm, Fair enough. We're I'm opening the floodgates. I haven't really said this gates. before. I haven't really said this before on the show before. I've said like, hey, you should get the joke or whatever. You sound stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you, sound like a, you sound like a big dumb idiot. I'm curious. I, here's the thing. I saw. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you do. You do. I saw. It is an illusion. Is. Fuck you. Like, I, I, 99.99% of people are like, you're you're in a movie with a hologram James Dean. All right. And let so me ask you're you in this. a student film with a guy with a James Dean mask going like, our luck ribbon without a cause. Let me ask me. you this. Let me ask you guys this. When everything started with the musician hologram movement, mm. and uh, I remember being at Coachella maybe six years ago. Tupac. And Tupac came on stage, mm-hmm. and people lost their motherfucking minds. Because they was thought like, it was Tupac, because the world thinks that Tupac isn't dead. I was there, and we did not think it was Tupac. Because well, you want drugs! <laughs> Wouldn't that make me think it was Tupac? Maybe, I don't know. I Fair like drugs, point. too. What the fuck? I also, <laughs> not wrong. Um, <laughs> but I remember everybody being like, wow. And then holograms with musicians blew up. Right, yeah. People seem to be predominantly excited about that. For this, I'm looking at Twitter, people seem to be not excited about right. this. What is the difference between going to a hologram concert and seeing a hologram movie? Because it's live. And not even a hologram movie, a CGI movie. Because it's live. Because if you're you you seeing Tupac at Coachella, it's just a but, one a once in a lifetime. You saw it there, it's not recorded. It's different than movies than, are never live though. Yeah, I know, but so it, a movie is actually not just gonna be released in theaters. There's gonna be DVDs, there's gonna be this like movie legacy of all of these dead celebrity uh hologram movies now. Like that I don't know. I mean maybe that's maybe that's what we're getting Here's now and we thing. have no say in it. But I'm not. I I just am not interested. If um, I went to a live, uh, like live taping of a podcast, let's just say it was like you know Dan Patrick show that he has an audience where he interviews people for like an hour, okay? And you go out there on the stage, like ladies and gentlemen, welcome James Dean, right. and a hologram of James Dean came out, and Dan Patrick asked a like, hologram of James Dean some questions. I think that'd be pretty cool. Seeing a movie with James right. Dean just like acting around, that doesn't do it for me. Seeing a hologram of Tupac, I'm like, all right, it's pretty cool. He's singing like his old songs because you're on and drugs. Probably, yes, but also 99 percent of the times you're at a concert, you're either drunk or on drugs. I don't really go to concerts with people. That are sober. I'm sorry. That's like that's not a concert for me. I go to concert. I get hammered. I smoke some weed. That's what you're supposed to do at a concert. That's what music is for. That's why music was invented. Music was invented to entertain people. That drugs were invented, and be like, holy shit! Together, music and drugs is awesome. I do feel like music was invented as an outlet for people, yes. you know, who didn't have other resources necessarily, and they had their voice. It was a beautiful thing to start. But I mean, also I, for weed and drugs. You're yes. both. You are both correct. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's both. I okay. Both. I guarantee but, you, the uh, first time like the harpsichord is played in George Washington's home out there. 
in Mount Vernon. Martha walks in. She's like, we shit a spliff. He has like, holy shit. Music is that much better. Everybody should get high. Did and you say we shit a spliff? We share split, a spliff. Share a spliff. A spliff. Yeah. Is, it, oh, is spliff lingo like, for weed? Yeah, no, I mean, weed, like weed and tobacco mixed together. It's yeah. called a spliff. Yeah. I didn't know that. You never heard of spliff? No, I, I wow. learn uh, new uh, English idioms and words every day. I yeah. fucking You're welcome. hate spliffs. Really? Yeah, They're because people pass them to you like it's weed, and it's not. Mm. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Mm. Don't do that. Okay. I really don't like that Roxy, out of people. Guys, okay. and guys Roxy safety tip. Thank you, Roxy. <laughs> That's my what if, on what if James Dean is ripping a spliff in this new movie, uh, <laughs> like Donnie Curtin's in the Revenge what if, of the What hologram. if Hologram James uh, Dean gave, gave you a spliff? Would you, would you smoke it with him? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, it's oh, clear. I can't. <laughs> Clearly my answer is yes. I can't do uh, it. I am curious <laughs> because... You. We are all in the entertainment space, but we have an amazing guest coming on today, Jane Seymour. Uh, Holy who shit. Is, definitely will have more she's thoughts on all these things and all the other things. I, I can't believe she's in the room next to me right now. Next door. Oh, I can't, that's why I was texting. I can't possibly explain to you guys how well, obsessed I am with this human being. Yeah. No, we understand, Roxy, because we're all this obsessed with this human being. This is going to be one giant, like, <laughs> fangirl, fanboy moment out. Yeah. Like, I told Amanda, I was like, hey, so uh, we have Jane Seymour on the show today. She's like, what the fuck did you just say? Oh, yeah. I told Julie. Yeah. Uh, Ju- Julie Lost today. Her mind. Just brought up some movies. She went, hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What? Because we literally watched Wedding Crashers like All a month ago, and she and that's like she's one of her just, favorite parts. She's a fucking legend. Man. She's I'm a legend. So excited to talk to she's her. She's a legend. I was reading yeah. an article that said you know how old somebody is based off of how they know Jane Seymour that's because like person. everybody yeah. knows her from something completely different. Right. Yeah. Um, but for me, it really was Wedding Crashers is like the thing that got me hooked on her. I mean, I'm gonna ask a very. I mean, it's probably not even gonna be an awkward question. It's gonna be an awkward comment of like, do you realize that you were like or responsible for the sexual sexual awakening of an 11 year old boy in Pittsburgh the first time he turned on Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman was like oh yeah uh, so uh, I like turned to my dad I was like is that how hot all doctors were in the old <laughs> west and my dad's like no it's not how it I mean I think all. she was everyone's sexual awakening uh, uh, yeah uh, I'll her you, and Michelle Pfeiffer yeah. I'll give you three words somewhere in time mm, that, that was is, your <laughs> followed yeah, her and Christopher followed Reeve. Christopher Reeve over because yeah. Superman guy, right? Yeah. And uh, that was when I remember being with my uh, high school girlfriend at the time who put on, loved this movie. And you know what's funny is you can ask her a very cool question about James Dean because she was in East of Eden and James Dean's, for, like one of his only movies that he was in was East of Eden. I would love to ask her what she thinks of this hologram situation. Yeah. Josh with that one. knowledge. Well, 10% professional. professional. No, <laughs> he's saying it's different, but he's saying by the same title. Same right. Title. Oh, yeah. Got it. Sorry. Uh, that that was, I started going movies, yeah. No, but, but you know what's interesting? In this article about James Dean, they start talking about what other figures they exactly. can resurrect. And one of them is Christopher Reeve that they're listing here. They yeah. want to do this. But we have so our thoughts on that because they were really close friends and I, I've yes. heard her talk a lot about um, after his accident and talking to him and, and really just being there for him for a really long time. So I'm curious what she would think about her friend being, being hologrammed. Yeah. Right. Right. Or be, not like being put into it. Like Warner almost, Brothers decides to say no Man of Steel 2. We're going to make another Superman movie with Christopher Reeve. I yeah. almost feel like now... You know how on our license you are an organ donor or you're not? Mm-hmm. You make these decisions beforehand. <laughs> now I feel like yeah. it, as long as actors now know. Don't hologram me. So, yeah, everybody, I just think every performer, musician, actor, whatever it is, can say now to their people, hey, after I die, right. I don't want to be hologrammed mm-hmm. or I do want to be hologrammed yeah. or only hologram me if you are uh, not doing well financially and need to make a little extra money. Like, I'm Crispin, sure some people feel right, that right, way. Yeah, totally Crispin agree. Glover talked about how in Back to the Future 2 and 3, they like put m- makeup on a guy's face. He didn't like the choices. I guarantee you, there are actors out there like, don't hologram me. I don't want, you know, Johnny Curtains to come in and be like, I'm going to do a James Dean impression. But that's literally but, not the person. But that wasn't it's him. Not, it's, it's not, not him. That was it's literally another person. I know, it's the Curtains family Eddie, Johnny, Danny. But this isn't another person, it's him. It's a person doing a voice impression of James Correct. Dean in a motion capture suit. It is not James Dean. It's going to look James like Dean. James Dean. No, it's not, Roxy. It, it is, is not it is James not. Dean. Roxy, I, I'm not. I'm virtual not, James Dean is not real James Dean. I'm not the host Dean. of this show. I'm not the host of the show. But if Zombie I was, I corpse would, James Dean would be more James Dean than hologram CG James I would suspend James you Dean. from being the, the host of the show. Why do you want to suspend me? Because I just want to believe, like Tinkerbell? No, no, no. Okay? Because you you're look, making us sound all sounds Us clapping our hands is not going to bring James Dean back. 
we're all involved in that you that you support a hologram Joshua. James Dean. I'm not going to say I'm not going to say I, I believe in fairies because I disagree with you. So you're going to stay dead. No, yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> we can't we can't clap our hands and bring James ba- Dean back. And that it's it's just a Is weird. Is there no we, celebrity that you want to bring back? In a movie, no. hologram, it, oh, look, not one. It nope. depends on the pitch, right? If it's the pitch they, they just gave me, I have no interest in. If they're all specifically right. making something cool where they're honoring these all these celebrities on some concert, like whatever's going on, like sure, do that for the. Do you if you that Pepsi, are that Super Bowl? all holograms to me, <laughs> we are all I'm holograms. Actually, I'm actually so know. home. I'm a force <laughs> yeah. projection yeah. here. Yeah. So. We could this, all be a simulation. The just Pepsi saying. commercial in the Super Bowl a yes. few years back when they were all sitting around and it was like right. live action Marilyn Monroe, James Dean, those right. the, the famous dead mm-hmm. celebrities. That was pretty cool. Right. It was a 30 second commercial Correct. of like from their thing. Great. Done. I don't need to see Roxy being like, James, no! And James Dean holograms like, I like my fap. I'm a <laughs> fap. Oh, I'm James Dean. Look at hologram. And then everybody, the whole movie, just I be like, oh, that. I saw. Oh, Why I does saw, he talk oh. like that? And what does he say about meth? No, he's I. I'm James Dean. Hologram. Look at me. Movie. La la la. I'll watch that. Though. All right. Something yeah, we do it. Something we can all agree on. 